Dear students, welcome to Geography class. Today we are going to discuss about the second session of the chapter a representation of geographical features. In the first session, we have discussed about globe, map, plan and sketch. Towards the end of that session, we have made a comparative study. Today, we are going to see the essential features of a map. Just like scale, direction, grid, legend, etc. So let's go in detail. So today we are going to deal with the essential features of a map. In this topic, we will be dealing with scale, direction, title, legend and finally we will talk about grid. So let's move to our first topic scale. What do you mean by scale? Scale has got a definition that you have to write it down to your notebook. Scale is the ratio between the distance on a paper to the corresponding distance on the ground. What does it mean? See, if you are going to draw a map of a city, you cannot represent the actual distance of a city into a paper because it covers the entire city, right? What do you do in order to represent the city into a paper? There you take, for example, you may take 10 kilometers of a city, you may take into a 1 centimeter on the map so that you can uh, rightly have the correct proportion of the city on your map drawn. So that's why we use scale. That's the definition of the, it's a ratio between the distance on a paper to the corresponding distance on the ground. I hope you understand the concept. Scale is a necessity for preparing a map. If we do not have a scale, we cannot have the accurate proportion or accurate uh, size and shape of the accuracy of the map will be lost. So it's a necessary factor. That's why it's called uh, the essential features of a map. That's how we check each of the essential features. See, here there are three types of scales. There are mainly three types of scales. They are, first one is verbal scale, secondly linear scale, third one is representative fraction. We are going to see each of them, verbal, linear and representative fraction. First scale is verbal scale. What do you mean by verbal scale? It's the units of a distance are mentioned on the map directly. So that's what verbal scale is. I'll, I'll make you understand. See, here on a map it would be written 1 centimeter is equal to 100 kilometers. It's a direct way of mentioning the scale on, on the map. Here it means that 1 centimeter in the map represents 100 kilometers of the actual ground. 1 centimeter of the, in the map uh, represents 100 kilometers of the actual ground that's how see let's see an example here we have an example of a map of south america so there it would be written one centimeter is equal to thousand kilometer here in the map it means that one centimeter uh, in the map represents thousand kilometers of the actual ground of a South America. So it's just an example. It's not an accurate measurement. I have given you an example to understand. So this is what verbal scale is. This is what verbal scale is. So the units of a distance are mentioned on a map directly. So our next scale is linear scale. Let me make you understand first itself what is linear scale. Linear scale is a line with loads of primary divisions and in that there are few secondary divisions. See, these units are called primary division from 0 to 100. This unit is called 
primary divisions and in that it is again divided and to now here it is two or it can be more that is a secondary division so in linear scale it is a line it is a line form which is divided it is a line form which is divided into primary and secondary divisions that is what a linear scale so once the linear scale is placed along with the map we can understand what is the measurement of a ground we can we can get the uh, sc uh, scale of the map so it helps in a direct measurement of a distance on a map i hope you understand linear scale so the next method or the next type of scale is representative fraction we can call it rf here the definition is the ratio between the map distance and the ground distance represented as a fraction so in a verbal statement we have directly mentioned scale for example one cent the units we have directly mentioned one centimeter is equal to 100 kilometers here we are not mentioning the units directly instead we are using fraction method or ratio method that is 1 is to 50,000 so here it means that 1 centimeter if we are taking it in the case of a centimeter 1 centimeter on the map represents 50,000 centimeters of the actual ground that is 1 is to 50,000 so RF can be converted into both uh, verbal statement and vice versa it can be converted into here how it can be converted into uh, verbal statement here if it is in the case of verbal statement here it would come 1 is equal to 50,000 centimeter 1 centimeter is equal to 50,000 centimeter so this is the uh, representative fraction type of scale so in total we have uh, seen three methods or types of scale first one is verbal scale secondly linear scale and the third one is a representative fraction now let's move to direction the second essential feature on a map is direction so mainly we have four direction they are called cardinal directions the major direction they are north and east south finally west we have uh, four direction they are called cardinal direction if you turn towards the north from a particular point if you turn towards the north from a particular point then your right side is east you're just where you are pointing just opposite side is south and your left side would be west that's the technique of a finding direction so we have four main direction north south east and west so we have also in between cardinal directions are the ma uh, four major intermediate direction we have four major direction called cardinal direction and also we have for intermediate direction to totally we can have uh, we can say that there are a direction in major directions okay so they are northeast northwest and southeast and southwest so uh, just just point out where it would be so here north is here yes east is there we have already seen south and west then can you point out where the north east will be it's gonna be yeah here north east yes next one is north west it is north west this direction is known as north west in between north and west it is known as north west in between uh, uh, north and east it is known as north east Yes, again southwest 
between south and west and south east between south and east so these are the uh, intermediate directions so we have uh, uh, four major directions called cardinal directions and also we have four intermediate direction uh, they are called intermediate di direction so this is what direction is next topic is title the title would say as what the content is for example title of a book title of a movie title of a shop they will explain us what the or they will indicate us what the content is in the case of map examples are the political map physical map world map map of india so it will tell what the content is for example the world map is about the world and the physical map uh, of india it will explain us about the physical features of india rivers in india it will explain us about the it will show us the rivers in india so like that it will the title is very important title will tell us what the content or the map what the map is about so title is one of the essential features and our next essential feature is a legend it is true that every features we cannot write it down on a map but rather we will represent them with some colors symbols and letters see features such as settlements bridge uh, post offices railway lines forests etc are represented on map by using symbols and letters so these symbols and letters are used in it they are called conventional symbols the common signs and simple symbols that are internationally accepted common signs that are internationally accepted are considered as or are, are called as conventional signs or conventional symbols so every map will have a legend or a key to explain what the symbols are for example the color blue is used in a map it denotes all kind of water bodies the color blue denotes all kind of water bodies and a triangle would mean a mountain black line would mean a boundary so every map will have a legend or key which explains different colors used in it different symbols used in it so that's that's why a legend is legend or key is one of the essential features of a map our next topic is grid what do you mean by grid grid is a set of vertical and horizontal lines drawn on a map you must have watched you must have seen in, in a map or a globe there are few vertical lines as well as horizontal lines why it is there these lines intersect form a network called grid so these vertically and horizontally uh, drawn line intersect each other to form a network and these lines are measured in degree it's not simply drawn like that with correct measurement with the correct degree it is uh, it is drawn and see the vertical lines are called longitudes and the horizontal lines are called latitudes the vertically drawn lines are called longitudes and the horizontal lines are called latitudes we have already seen it's not simply drawn uh, it's measured in degree so the zero degree latitude is known as equator about the latitudes and longitude you will have a detailed study in the, in your higher classes for now you need to understand that grid is there one of the as the uh, essential features of a map so here we conclude our session today um, we have discussed about scale uh, in, in that we have disc we have seen uh, verbal scale linear scale and also finally we have seen about the representative fraction and we have seen direction title 
and uh, we have seen about uh, legend and finally we have discussed about grid so these are the essential features on a map these things should be there while you draw a map when you examine a map these uh, please check these these features so if you have some doubts you can add it in the comment box we will meet with the next session that is geographical features and we will wind up the chapter then so thank you